man's been found guilty of the murder of a Lanarkshire drug dealer. William Gage shot Justin McElroy as he returned to his home in Cambus Lang. At the High Court in Glasgow, Gage was sentenced to life imprisonment. Today, the High Court Lord in Glasgow, Emsley Gage was found guilty of murder. Of he was years. also accused of perverting the course of justice by setting the car on fire. The verdict on that charge, not proven. Gage's friends and relations are already talking about a miscarriage of justice. So today's High Court verdict still might not close the controversy surrounding the murder of Justin McElroy. Bob Wiley, reporting Scotland. Lay me down in the Kulkulgren where a four money mare have gone. Lay me down in the Kulkulgren where a four money mare have gone. Lay me down. In the Kul Kulgren Where a four Money mare have gone Lay me down In the Kul Kulgren Where a four Money mare have gone Gage first contacted me uh, to write to him and explain that he didn't actually fall under a remit as a miscarriage of justice. Because he had actually been convicted. Uh, what we said to Willie is that we would certainly monitor his case and keep an eye on it. And uh, the more we looked into it, the more we thought there was something wrong with it. I was totally bemused by that old trial. So I said, I normally sit in and appeals, and that was the first murder trial I'd ever sat in, and it shocked me to think that in the 21st century, in a so-called modern democracy, that we could allow some of this evidence to be brought in front of a jury. I mean, evidence saying, what, you recognise somebody's eyes 22 months later? To me, that was laughable. You couldn't get away with that in a theatre. You couldn't get away with that in any other walk of life. But in a Scottish court, somebody can come in and say, I can recognise somebody by their eyes. I mean, it was shocking, it really was truly shocking. All the evidence that was against William Gage was purely circumstantial in relation to the murder. Uh, the evidence that they had that linked William to the crime could have linked at least four, five, six other people through the DNA. So, I mean, even that wasn't clear cut that what they found directly pointed at Willie. Between the, from the locus of the shooting to where the Saab car was found, there's whatever route you take, there's a possibility of 43 CCTV cameras should have picked up that car if it was coming from at that point to the point that it was found in. Uh, and it's, well, we never ever seen any CCTV. And I can only guess the reason why we never seen any CCTV, because there was no showing of the white Saab at any near way the proximity from Canvas Line to Easter House. And the, it, it did talk about the police in the run-up to trial, but it was more to do with the evidence and the, the, the holding back of CCTV camera evidence. Uh, because he was trying to clear his name, he's trying to clear his name from within the prison. So he's got all these questions, why are they not doing this, why are they not doing that? If this evidence here, why am I not being allowed to see it? Uh, so I, the, the, there was many, he, he, he had many doubts about the way the police were running their investigation.
What do we want? Justice! Uh, as evidence when it comes to the description of the gunman, I mean, he seemed to have the clearest view if the man behind him was the gunman. Uh, he seen a man running with a mask on, jumping into a white car who was wearing a puff jacket. Uh, the road that he was travelling down uh, at Roadworks, so he was held up and the white car came back from behind. And Steve Madden stated that he's seen the guy pull off a mask. He described it as somebody with a ball face. He was asked in court if he could recognise this face in court and he said no he couldn't. So he had the clearest view of the gunman, but he couldn't pick Willie Gage out in court. Well, the reaction I had outside the court was I was getting the mickey taken out of me by all the BBC and Scottish television uh, journalists there, uh, basically saying, what are you doing here? He's not a miscarriage of justice victim. Uh, so they all thought he was going to walk as well, as I did, as everyone thought he was going to walk because of the judges summing up. By his summing up, I would say, without a shadow of a doubt, he was directing the jury to bring an acquittal. Whether it be a not proven or not guilty verdict, I don't know. But with the summing up, the amount of times that he, he mentioned the burden of proof and beyond reasonable doubt, it kept going over and over and over these, these, these particular phrases. And to me, that's an indication to say to the jury, there ain't enough evidence. Personally, I think he should have stopped the trial because there wasn't enough evidence. But that's just my personal opinion. Uh, i just seen Willie leave the dock. And I don't think Willie even knew his reaction. I think Willie was totally stunned by it. Uh, you know, I think when you're in a situation like that, I hear guys saying all the time, you don't actually think they're talking about you. You don't actually think you're there. You think it's, you know, it's some video you're watching. Because uh, you, you've just dissociated yourself from what's going on. I think that's where Willie was at the moment. I don't think Willie knew what was happening. As soon as we heard the verdict, we knew there was going to be an appeal. The problem with that is Willie Gage had already been held for two years on this matter, and he's now, what, eight months since his, the trial. Could take another four or five months before he get appeal, so that's going to be another year he's going to have to spend in a hellhole. For what? For something he never done? For expediency? For tunnel vision? For somebody just to clear the books? I mean, that is the justice. And, and if people think this is justice, what they've got to remember is the person who shot that guy, whether you like the person or not, the person who shot that guy has still been walking about for the last two and a half years. I, I, if somebody's done a crime, I convict them. You know, convict them, no questions about it. But people should go into juries with an open mind. And at the moment, we seem to be people going into a jury thinking the Crown must be telling the truth. Well, unfortunately, the cases I've worked in, so often the Crown ain't telling the truth. And the fact the Crown are covering up a lot of things. And I think in this case, the Crown have got a lot of answer for why they brought this case to trial. Uh, I think it was one of relief uh, that people were taking an interest that he wasn't on his own. Uh, particularly taking Paddy Hill up there, I think, gave him a big boost. Because Paddy knows exactly what Willie's going through at that time. So I think, I, I think we brought a wee bit of hope towards him.
Thank you very much. We're here today to uh, raise money to help innocent people in prison. So I'd really like to make it real for a wee while, just for a couple of minutes. There's a case you've probably seen Willie Cage's name coming up today. I don't know many you know about this case. It horrified me. Normally, normally I just go to a pub court. But this time I went to a trial, the murder trial at the start of the year. And what really worried me was the lack of coverage by the press, because it's a sexy story. You know, you've got politicians, you've got drug dealers, and you've got hitmen. And it wasn't very well covered. And because it wasn't very well covered, I seen a guy be put away for 20 years on no evidence. Unless you call somebody who can recall somebody's eyes 22 months later. She doesn't mention the eyes in any of four statements. And as soon as she comes to court 22 months later, she picks out the guy's eyes. That's all. She's seen him. I've got a, a, a light behind me here. She, she had the bang, then she had four bangs. Her husband was assassinated. He was a known drug dealer out in Camus Land. You may remember it two years ago. She had the bangs, she had four bangs. She went to the door and she looked through a glass panel and she see a figure running from right to left. And as he got into the lamplight, he's wearing a, a hood and a scarf. And he puts his head round in the lamplight. So he's a cast of shadow anyway, I would say. And I'm no detective, by the way. Uh, smart on that. And uh, for some reason this woman said she didn't recognise his eyes. And that was the only evidence. Now we thought he was going to get, we thought he would have walked. Even when the judge is summing up, we thought he was going to walk. And for some reason they called it a perverse jury. The majority of a jury. We don't know what the majority was, but he was put away by the majority jury. He's appealing. It's going to start probably, hopefully, because he's been told to speed it up. The, the, the three law laws have told him to speed it up. Purely because of the judge's report. Which you think me and Paddy sat down with a lawyer and wrote it because it tears the whole case apart. In this case, you never went to trial in the first place. That is a question that will be asked when Willie Gage walks free. But we do need support from people to talk about this, to take this into trade union and in the communities and get people writing. Because what put Willie Gage away? Believe me, I'm not trying to scare these in any way. But see the evidence that put Willie Gage away. If they put any one of these away, because they got my DNA on clothing and the, all the witnesses, including the wife, said the killer was wearing a puff jacket but the jacket that they had in a car that they found in East House five miles away was a thin black cagoule it didn't even match the description of the jacket and that was the only evidence, his DNA was on the jacket Ask two other DNA was on it it could have been any one of your DNA on it and you used to be sitting 20 years trying to fight to get out and these things are continuing to happen today because the, nobody's taking interest, the press are not covering these stories but they should be covering the stories and questions are not getting asked we're actually going to see if we can get the, the